Post, man, that CD's been around for a long time. Come to think of it, then MP3s came out and sounded even worse. Who knows? Everybody's going back to vinyl, but every time I put a piece of vinyl in my car, it breaks. I don't know, the heater just kind of melts it, it doesn't really job. Track. Yeah, we need to go back to 8-track. Who still makes 8-track? That was the way to go. Yeah, they didn't start with Oh, yeah, we, we, we... How fast was it? It, it was pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it was Clay Welch fast. I mean, not, nothing was Clay Welch fast. That was... <laughs> I mean, we were all, I was all hopped up on something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> that, that song will be coming up in a little bit. But, uh, after that song, there's just no going home. But, uh, One thing I will say about Bob Seger, since we're talking about Bob Seger on stage, he did record Turn the Page at the church studio in town. Hey, let me know. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, oddly enough. Uh, that's right. Dave Sr. was his drummer for a long time. Yeah, that's right. And then that was cool to play that. Uh, play. I, I got to play a gig with, with T. Garden Sr. And then I got to pick his brain about the years that he spent in uh, Seger's band playing drums and it was great because I always liked that drum part to Hollywood Nights and then I found out I was like dude you're the guy that did Hollywood Nights it's like yeah that was me that's a ridiculously hard part yeah well I double checked a couple of things but I figured out how to do it when we toured with it live man that's really awesome that's a killer thing yeah it's pretty cool. <laughs> and, and, and the other thing I'll say about Bob Seger, since I'm raving about Seger, which nobody raves about Seger, although he's written like some of the most memorable songs anybody's ever written, but he gave, if, if you were in Bob Seger's band, he gave you equal songwriting rights. So when, that's right. So when he got the Grammy, everybody got a Grammy. And he, everybody gets an even chunk of the royalties, even though, yeah. So, how about that? that that's how you keep it. That's a band. Huh. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's how. 
<laughs> That's how seniors got a studio, is because he gets an even chunk of, yeah, all those things you recorded, um, you know. I was asking that, checking the mail. Well, that was back when people bought records. Now it's not, so I don't get so much anymore, is what he said. Well, story time's over.
Thank you so much. Okay, next up on the show is uh, it's a John Fulbright tune. I'm that never want to shine and shine and 
Thank you all so much. This one's a Bo Robertson tune. You can see him in the middle of Pilgrim.
Oh, oh.
Allez, viens, viens, viens. Thank you. 
Yeah, all right. I think we all can, we should have taken a break a long time ago because I'm gonna try to sing this. I about had Bo fill in for me last night because I 
can sing with a shit. I done lost my voice, but we're going to try this. Oh my God, Jared Tyler's up playing. I'm so honored. I want to thank Paul Benjamin for having me here tonight. I always look forward to sitting in with Paul here. I love it when I get to come play guitar and I don't have to sing anything. I just got to be the side man. I love doing that.
songs and I'll learn that one next. I've written down the words to learn it before, but I, I just haven't yet. I do know living in a dream, but these guys don't know living in a dream. That's not a song you just whip out on somebody. <laughs> Last one I'm singing, I've lost my voice, so. this way again And I I want to be this way again
Demetrius Williams here too. We got that. Up. Thank y'all. All right.
Francine et Xavier. Why don't I see you first? Why don't I see you first, Austin? 